Hello everyone, how are you doing in <laughs> these crazy times? Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, what's going on in the energies, an energy update. And then I'm going to give you tools to be working with to help yourself uh, through these times. Uh, they're going to be continuing. Uh, some will be coming even stronger. And the tools are really important. So it's not just that you're going through this life and things are happening to you. It's asking you, life is wanting you to make choices, is wanting you to choose the direction that you wanna go, is this is your, this is your right as a human being to uh, become aware of your choices. This is part of the awakening, part of your evolution, is becoming raising our consciousness about what's going on who are we really what do we want to create in this life that is for the highest good of all concerned not just the individual and so as part of the energy update you um depending if you go outside of regular media you are seeing that there is a lot of breakdowns happening. There's a lot of, uh, of information coming out that wasn't allowed to come out before. There is uh, people trying to censor, pe keep people censored again, trying to push different agendas that are not healthy or um, um, you know, good for good for the all. We're, we're I'm, I'm Always when I'm talking, I'm looking for what is for the best for all concerned. And so it's, and it's, I think also, so what is happening, right, is all this information is coming out. You're, if you're awake and you're, and you're seeing um, this, some of you might not be seeing it yet. That's fine. It will come when you are ready. Um, and to, to see it. Um, some of you might not want to see it. You might be hiding your head in the sand and it's just like, nope, not gonna deal with this. Don't wanna feel the feelings. Don't want to know the atrocities that are happening in the world. I have enough right here, right now. I'm just in my survival mode or I'm doing what I, the best I can in that uh, where I'm at right now. And I don't wanna know what else is happening in the world. Fine, perfect wherever you're at it does not matter um nobody every we're all doing this in our own way in our own time we're all unique for what we came here to experience what we've come here to um, create and um but for a lot of the star seeds and the sensitives um, you're here for a reason. You came here at this time to help heal the planet, help uh, help the breakdown and help the recreation, uh, to help people and humanity or to help the earth. Um, the, each of us, like I said, has our mission. So those uh, star seeds and sensitives that are, um, remember when you were a little kid and the feeling that you were here to do something big, that feeling that you you just had it, but you're you might have been the most insecure, you might have been bullying, you're like not me, how could I? But there was this feeling in you, you're here to do something big, but you had no idea. Just and it probably followed you at different. It would become in your awareness over different periods of time in your life until you're where you're at right now. And I'm telling you, you're living that big mission now. And that big mission is for you to heal. And I just want, I want to say this, uh, preface, preface this, is you are not broken. You are, there. there is not something wrong with you. The thing is, is that you've been mind washed, programmed to believe that you're limited, that you're not powerful, that you're not enough, that you're unlovable, that you're unworthy, um, what, whatever those are and however those show up in your life, um, uh, that you're weak, that you're unsupported, 
etc you're 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 not healthy you're not strong enough you're not, you're too old you're too young you blah 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 you know um all of that so that is not you broken that is programming that you've been programmed from a little kid from the generations before from the media from that means magazines news shows movies books um magazines all of that you know showing you how you're not pretty enough you're not slim enough you're not rich enough you know a bunch of bullshit that that you so that and and also all this stuff is to distract you so you're not listening to you you're not going inside and feeling your feelings and doing the things that um that would really empower you that that show you the way to who you really are so it's kind of this like breakdown of your inner knowledge or your soul level spirit level of knowing how powerful how rich you are how um creative you are how you're you know all good at manifesting things how lovable you are how worthy etc uh, these aren't just um pie in the sky things this is this is true reality this is true for you but you have to discover these things. And so it's those programmings. And again, your parents did not, they didn't do this on purpose. They didn't know that this had been happening to them. This has happened generation after generation after generation. And um, that, so this, it's this healing, it's this healing of, of coming back to yourself, coming home to yourself, starting to learn and trust, to see what's inside. So removing the the breakdown that's happening in the world right it's like all of those systems and structures that have been in place to feed you this limiting information to feed you this this um, propaganda and um, information about uh, so that you feel broken and you feel not good enough um, and is you know then was and here are some things that you can take or here's alcohol here's drugs get addicted be distracted here do gaming do let's give you a phone that you can't pull your head out of that is all these things that are very addictive and unhealthy to make you even more numb and dumb and i, I and and i'm not saying this against you I really, I want you to get that this has been something that's been happening over time. Um, that when you're not paying attention to what's going on inside of you, as well as being in the nature, um, and so understanding kind of what is natural and how nature works and how you're connected to everything, how you are. Uh, a spark of God experiencing um, the world through this spark of God through your soul through your spirit that's wanting to create things that you want to experience and you can say source or God wants to experience through you as well as the star seeds who volunteered to come down here and help humanity through this craziness at this time what 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 i'm doing what the, the work that i'm doing and holding the space and and trying to teach these things that are you know people you go marilyn you're you're being so bizarre here um or you're you know th those star seeds and sensitives you know what I'm talking about. You have a sense, you can tell whether I'm trying to pull the wool over your eyes or not. And those of you who think I'm a conspiracy theorist or, or whatever term you might put on, um, that's fine. You have the right to, to think whatever you want. I, I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to talk to the star seeds and help the star seeds and sensitives create a strong foundation in order to and in, in, in order to now 
put, you know, deal with those, deal with the um, um, ascension symptoms, the different things that are happening, all the energies and stuff that you're feeling, um, and um, and the activations and how you're evolving. I'm that's that's my job is to hear and support you and say, hey, yeah, what you're feeling is is right. I have people you know all the time are like oh my god I'm feeling this and that and sharing so to get back to September has been oh my lots of flares lot high Schumann resonance um, lots of um, uh, some CMEs just you know we're having uh, it's been the equinox uh, full moon uh, new moon uh, so the full moon started at the end of of August, a lot of energy, and now we're we're getting ready to to go into another full moon here, and then um, and then also we're coming into eclipses, uh, two eclipses I believe in October. So um, and with all the information and stuff that's coming out that wasn't allowed to come out before, and seeing these different systems and stuff. And the craziness of the weather, um, uh, you know, the, the all, you know, what was it? it like in, in, was it one day or within a week, there was something like, uh, you know, 10 places that were flooding around the world. So there's lots of human um, tragedy and emotions and fear and anxiety, as well as love and generosity and, and joy and bliss. You know, but there's just a lot of it. And again, as I shared with you, as we're activating and everything, your levels of sensitivity, as your awareness grows, as you, as you are observing more, you're, you're, you're feeling this, you're experiencing this, you're, and you're um, processing this. And as you're also processing your traumas, your, uh, the things that where you're releasing you know, these different beliefs and stuff that have been limiting you, um, you're allowing in more energy and, and, and you're going through the process of learning how to be with this. So I did a lot. I, I'm going to look at my notes now because um, I, I, I just was making notes all over the place. But I guess the and so you could be feeling so some of the things going through because we don't know how we're going to we don't necessarily know how things are stored and how we're going to release them or detox them um, and different changes and stuff that are going on that you might per be personally making and hopefully so to make your health better, to improve things. So you might be eliminating things that might be causing detox in different ways that your skin's breaking out or you have headaches or um, you know, your your uh, you might feel flu, but you're not you don't have the flu, uh, chills, um, fever. Uh, you might um, you know just just a, a diarrhea or constipation. Again, everybody's going to be different. What's going on? But hopefully, you're making uh, new and better health choices because it's that's really important right now. And you know what would nurture you. Uh, a lot of people, um, in uh, people that I know and, and hearing a lot, a lot of people are, are sick right now and uh, various things all over the boards from cancer to flu um, or like detoxing, a lot of stuff coming out, um, uh, yeah, a lot of nasal drip, watery eyes, uh, coughing up phlegm, stuff like that too. Um, so, and also, you might be feeling stuck. Uh, a lot of times when the energy is fluctuating like this and it's high energy, you know, it's like short circuiting. If a lot's coming in, there's like a short circuiting that's happening. I think I've talked to this, I've talked about this before. And we're building up our muscles to hold, be able to hold the energy that's coming in through uh, from the cosmos or that, you know, that's... Um, 
the the uh, electromagnetic field energies that are coming in or from storms and stuff like that and from and from we're learning how to hold space we're learning how to be present and hold space that's that's um and that can take time so your body and if you're detoxing too can be very tired you can be like, oh, I just need, I, I just can't keep my eyes open. So sleep if you can't, right? I understand people are working, moving, doing all sorts of different things. Whatever you can, take rest if you can. And just like, even if it's like multiple 20 minute rests during the day. Um, and, you know, support yourself, love yourself. Let, you know, do, do, just be, rem remember to have, very thoughtful thoughts and feelings toward yourself. I love you. I'm sorry for, you know, what's happened in the past. You can do the Honopono prayer. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Do your work first. Doing that. And you can just wake up in the morning and look at yourselves in the eyes and say, Marilyn, I love you. You know, to you, but you, replace my name with your name, you know, and look in your eyes and you can high five if you want and you can put on, you know, some music and stuff and, and feel your body, love your body, wake up and you can talk to your body and wake it up and say, thank you. Thank you. So grateful for you. So grateful for this breath, you know, um, whatever is important for you. And the other thing is that there'll be days you feel like you're stuck, like, you're like you want it to work and you can't do anything it's like your mind's not going there so it's if it's not a chemical thing that's getting your mind there uh making you feel confused or uh just feel like you can't you just don't want to be mental today you know so go out in nature then if you can if you can let it be because trust learning to trust what your body needs and so like even if you like oh, i just can't focus right now so then but it's like i'm feeling drawn to go outside so go outside put your bare feet in or sit on the on the ground or garden or um lean up and or hug a tree or sit with your back against a tree or take a hike or a swim or something like that you know whatever's around you available to you if it's going to a park or to a beautiful garden something like that even if it's a little piece in your backyard listen to the birds um watch the animals you know um give yourself that time and then usually whatever's then then all of a sudden you'll just feel like oh now i can go i can go do what i wanted to do or now I'm, I, I, I need to spend most of the time here in nature and you'll find, you'll start to see then now you've recharged and the next day you can get those things done in a much easier flow than you trying to force it when you're not, your body and your mind is not ready to release it, release what you want, you're wanting to create. So it's like listening to that. And the other thing is, so you might feel stuck too because all this stuff's coming up and it might and most likely it's been coming up for a few years now and you just feel like oh my god I can't get out of my own way like you can't move or you can't make money or you can't get the job or it's a relationship thing or it's a health thing you just feel like oh my gosh I am in this place and I can't get out of it and I'm just stuck if you're in that place then you need to get I, I, you don't need, I, but I need to in the way that I would recommend that you um, get a coach like myself or somebody else or join a group um, and that you that helps you start working on your mindset, your beliefs, your feelings and starts getting you back, you know, then we can start moving you and you won't, you won't be stuck. Even by making that decision and hiring somebody or joining the group um, will allow you to, to see that you're moving in a direction so no, you're no longer stuck. Okay, so, um, so here's, I, I'm not gonna go into the other stuff that I created, I'll create another video on that, but so some tools to help you, right? To, so most important is that we're, we're um, removing it's asking us to go look inside 
our evolution, our awakening is asking us to go inside and learn who are we. And one of the first things when you start to first wake up is that you are, um, you'll, it usually has to do with the family and like mom and dad or something. And so it was just like, so all your energy goes, it's their fault, it's their fault, that whatever, you know, you're pointing fingers at situations, experiences, and people. And the, the, you won't resolve, you won't evolve by putting your attention out here on these. It's going inside, inside you, the inner work of looking at, you know, what happened, like why, um, and, and, and there are things as a child, I'm not disregarding, just so you know, that were traumas that were created that, that are the parents' fault, are the, are, are uh, you know, the person who is responsible for any of, any of the traumas that, that, that are physical, mental, emotional abuse. Um, or spiritual abuse even. Um, and now as a, an adult, you are responsible for, for taking charge and healing those. Again, not broken, but just releasing, um, uh, coming to an understanding um, about what was, what, what happened. And besides those big abuses to a child, I just want to share that, you know, as much as you've been programmed, your family, everybody's been programmed. So understanding that there's people who have been programmed to have certain beliefs and things of following ways of the family, what family tradition, etc., that they haven't been thinking individually haven't had a consciousness to say, is this right? Is this wrong? It's just like, this is what we do. This is how we act. And, and so you think you are your thoughts, your feelings, um, and your actions related to what programming, what conditioning you grew up with. And same with your parents, same with your grandparents, on and on generations, culture, um, religion, adding to that, and then add on top of that government, um, propaganda, in, uh, knowledge and education, etc., that have been um, applied to conditioning um, the way you think and feel about yourself and the world, right? So that's what we're working on right now. We're looking at What's your conditioning, your programming, what's in there? I'm wanting you to become aware of that more so. And as you find yourself getting triggered and disturbed by what's going on around you, and if you find yourself pointing fingers, and um, as you're awakening, as you're evolving, those are wonderful bits of information for you to see and know and recognize as something for you to do your inner work with, to do your inner work. And so some of the things that, um, to help you um, do the inner work right now, how, about, how long have I been going, okay, um, is, um, you know, one of the things I would recommend, if, if you have any illness going on, aches, pains, etc., something of that going on. I love um, these two books and what you do. So if you have um, some liver stuff or you've got, you know, you keep breaking bones or you keep getting, uh, you have colitis, uh, you know, um, different things, all sorts of different things. Louise Hayes book so that you can just, you know, whatever's going on with you, if you have stomach aches all the time, if you have other things, besides, you know, knowing that uh, teeth stuff, uh, besides knowing that stuff's happening out here, and also as you detox, like your teeth can hurt from detox 
because you're 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 detoxing what's what's ever uh, stuff is coming out there. You can have you can have you know trouble with your vision for a while. You can feel it again in your body, um, but but there's also there's a, a mental aspect to physical illness, and so um, so then it gives you little little. Um, gives you some awareness to look into and gives you something, uh, gives you a, uh, um, it shows kind of like what the thought pattern was, the negative one and what's a new one to choose. And you can, it gives you a place to go, oh, gosh, am I, am I, you know, how has that been showing up in my life? You know, where has that shown up before? What, what, a, look at what I've been thinking and believing. And that's been creating, um, creating something like an example might be that um well let me just turn to an example instead of making one up okay so here's one for pain guilt guilt always seeks punishment so if you're feeling guilty and you've got a bunch of pain you might look at this and the new thought is i lovingly release the past they are free and i am free all is well in my heart now see how there's a change uh, let me see. Let me get give you one more example. Um, let's see here. Um, kidney problems, criticism, disappointment, failure, shame, reacting like a little kid, new thought. Divine right action is always taking place in my life. Only good comes from each experience. It is safe to grow up. So that's Heal Your Body, A to Z, Louise Hay. And another uh, one that I really like too, that is, um, so understanding your emotions and the thoughts and how they affect you physically is Deb, Deb Shapiro's book. So this is another one that you can use. Okay, so those are things that uh, you can go through and look and that will start to give you some information because that's what you're looking for information. That's what people come for me, because I'm really good at finding out where are the root causes of, of um, your programming and helping you get rid of the, or helping you release that programming and input new programming, new actions, new thoughts, new feelings. So the other thing is, is feel your feelings. So it's very important that you allow whatever comes up in your feeling in your in, with your feelings to allow yourself to feel it because that helps it move through your body everything is energy and emotions are energy in motion what you're feeling is something in the moment that a thought is giving you is like defined like your program like um um something that could create anxiety is I'm not, I'm not good enough. And so like you're going to, you might have social anxiety because you don't feel good enough and you don't want to take up people's time talking or whatever around that. And so when you're put in a social, uh, go on a date or, or you're in a, you have to give a talk, you know, your whole body goes into an anxious because what you're thinking is now over and over again, and you're worried about criticism and um, being judged. So that puts your body into having an anxiety attack or being anxious or um, being, uh, you know, stressed out in whatever way it happens for you. So when you can start to see like you are enough and then and then, and create new programming and understanding you are not your feelings, you are not your thoughts. This is a big thing. Like, so whatever your feelings, just say, I am feeling rather than I am anxious. I am angry, I am resentful. No, you are not. You are feeling resentment, anger, anxious. Um, so when you can be like the observer, be the observer, stand back and, and just notice, oh, I feel angry. And I feel, uh, and you might even be like, so just noticing like I'm feeling anger and it's, and it's in, my, in my stomach. 
and I feel like I'm a, a five-year-old having a temper tantrum that I want to I want I want things my way you know um, or even I want things my way uh, sort of thing just to know and it's like oh wow so maybe then I've noticed something happened to me when I was five years old that I never got to express but that, that, that anger is not who I am. I am the consciousness watching this, and, but I, letting that anger go, yeah. So what happened back then? Do, do you need to know or whatever? Or just let, just be like, yeah, it's all, it's all right for my body to feel anger. It's all right for my body to feel the shame I'm holding on to because I'm not that shame. I'm all, it's all right for me to feel joy and bliss. It's all right for me to be, feel happiness. It's all right for me to feel fear. It's all right, whatever for the body, it's all right. Like let that go because as it, as you allow them to come up, they release. As you don't fight it, you don't resist it, they release. And as they release, then that allows more of your natural life force to come back in. That's allowing more of like, who am I really without all these um, stuff down emotions or this defined labels and um, way of seeing myself that aren't true. Who am I when I'm really me and I'm just playing in this moment? So I know like for me, my sense of humor came through. I didn't, you know, I was very serious. I had to be very serious, took myself very seriously and had to be a good mom and a good citizen and a good wife and a, you know, good whatever. Um, and, uh, and, you know, perfect. And so, so, you know, took all of that very seriously. And then when I started seeing, oh, and letting things go, then there was room in there and I'm like, oh, geez, there's the, there's a funny part of me and I love to be free and dance and have fun. And, you know, the playful part of me could, could come out and play and, and that adds some harmony to my life, to the seriousness. And it opens up space for me to let go of other stuff. It's like, oh, look how good this felt. Okay, I wanna let go of more. It gives you that room. All right, um, so I talked about the, uh, observing just a little while ago so that's one of the tools start observing observing you you know just like watching what how you're experiencing your world and is it what you want to experience is it not what you want to experience is it confusing you know just just observe just start observing it and 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 how you respond to it and how uh, you know, the different things uh, going on and why you responded to maybe something. Um, so when, when, when you react to somebody else, that somebody else didn't make you feel that way, that's a programmed way for you to react. So say you're defensive. Say somebody says something like, I'd like more, more salt in, um, uh, you know, on my food than than um, what you put in. And so you might take defense, like, see, I'm not good enough. And you might go into the defense. Well, this is the way I do it and da, 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 da. And you know, whereas if you were just in the present moment and understanding you like this amount of salt, they like that, we're all different. We all need unique. We all have different, you know, our tongues taste things differently. We see things differently. We experience things differently. And so, but you took it personally and you reacted. Instead of being present in the moment, understanding what's here, what's now, just dealing with that versus having these old, old programming that are just right there watching so I got to make myself safe. I've got to be on defense. I've got to watch out that there, there's, um, you know, nobody can abuse me. Nobody can put me down. You know, like we're countering, we're trying to counter all the things, be on the defense for all the things that would make us feel unlovable, <laughs> unworthy, um, not enough, uh, you know, except not as, not supported, uh, not where, whatever the good enough is, you know, smart enough, wealthy enough, pretty enough, sexy enough, all that stuff. 
And so we, we're, we're on defense to not let that come in. And so we're, we're looking for it, you know, we're looking for it so we can't be, and then if it starts to come in in any way, we're like push against it. So we're not getting to be who we really are because we're living from these past beliefs and thoughts about ourselves that aren't who we really are, that are really limiting us and making our world very small. You're only seeing this part when you start to let go of those things, um, those limiting beliefs, and start to really feel your connection to everything. The whole, your whole world is going to shift and it will be shifting as you do this little by little. So it isn't like a black and white day and night. Um, it, it's just going to be shifting so that you will have more. You will feel supported. You will be manifesting very quickly. You will be um, in those loving relationships and have people around you who love you. And you will be open to receiving that love and you will be loving back. You know, you will know you are worthy and lovable. And um, it's just amazing what you will be able to create through that. And also, if you're a healer and you're here to help people, you need to do this work before you can help people. You're not gonna be completely finished, but you gotta do a good chunk of this, otherwise you're not helping them. Because you will get hooked into some of their stuff and not be able to really stand there holding the space and like, no, 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 not going there, you know, because you can't go there yet. If you can't feel enough, and you can't feel lovable and you can't feel supported and stuff, you're not really going to be a true help to, um, uh, and, and feel neutral, uh, have some neutrality about what's going on and understand your connection to everything. You, you won't be able to um, energetically uh, support that person. You can support people right behind you, but you're going to do your better work and be able to help more people on a broader scale, the more you've done your work. All right, let's see what else. Um, the next thing I would say is um, nature. Nature is calling, going back to the natural, um, spending time in, in nature and seeing how nature works, seeing how observing how you feel in nature. Because when you're in nature, you're probably more like yourself than when you're out and you're distracted by all your phone and all this other stuff, which just keeps feeding you the, the other things that is distracting you from getting to really know yourself and uh, keeps you, um, you know, in that, more in that numb and dumb rather than being aware and conscious and making choices about what really serves you now into your evolution and your, your um, ascension or, or uh, an awakening. What, what will help you in that? So really uh, abstaining from any of those things that are very addictive, that are uh, clouding your mind, clouding your decision making, um, like, you know, a lot of drinking or drugs or a lot of gaming, uh, where you go unconscious and then whatever you're doing or putting your hearing and stuff like that just goes into your brain. Like, okay, program, program. It's also when you do a lot of, when you're drugged up a lot and you're, uh, or, you know, this and I'm talking smoking pot, um, or, you know, you have more than one glass of alcohol um, you, you open yourself up to having, um, implants or, or entities, you know, coming and, um, influencing you in some way. So, and you're more hip, you're more in the hypnosis of like, so whatever's on the TV, you're taking in, uh, unconsciously or whatever you're watching on the screen. If there's battles and wars and stuff, you're becoming numb to, battles and wars and abuse and et cetera, um, or music that you're listening to. Again, it's like the more you're in this hypnotic place, um, that the more you can be influenced negatively, that's taking away from really who you are. Um, 
So, and I'm not talking like you have to be a goody two shoes. It's just like we, we have to get a strong, strong foundation here. And then you, you have, you have your choices. You're always making your own choices. Nobody's saying what's right, what's wrong. I have my cocktails when I, when I want, and, 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 and I know how to moderate that. And I know what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And the more and more, the higher my energy goes, the, the less, the less I can partake in, in um, uh, different things. Like I, I would say, like most wines, I can't, I can't, I can't have a wine anymore. It's just um, it, my my whole body just reacts to it, and it's uncomfortable. So I don't do that. Um, but anyway, getting in nature, spending time in nature, observing yourself in nature. Um, watching the birds, the animals, they all are have information for you too. So like uh, notice what your totems are. you know use use the world as a, as an informative like because you're feeling stuff. so like start um, seeing what's important. Like the other day, oh my gosh, I was walking through a, a place nearby here with my dog and there was at least 50 dragonflies flying around me. Like it was so wonderful. And before that I had, um, there was a, a, like two pairs of hawks that kept coming around. And um, anyway, I have experiences like that all the time. And it, it's, it's energized. You know, I look at it, the ocean and there's dolphins and whales and I get, I have that energy. I'm tapping into all these energies. And I'm seeing for those of you that um, are starting at like, don't have a lot of money. Don't feel rich. Start looking at nature and how rich the things are around you. And you are part of that. So start looking how your life is really rich and valuable and you know, what you do have and what you, uh, and, and, and value that don't take things for granted. Um, I said the looking within. And then, so I guess the, the next thing would be community. Really um, start connecting with others, making friends, finding other people who are, who are doing this work so you can share, um, so you can share it. And so whether community is in a group with somebody that somebody else has, or you create a, a group, or you, you know, it's getting one friend um, and start developing that friendship and you meet regularly and you can talk about all this what's going on and what are they experiencing and this is what you're experiencing and you know finding finding those people in your community that um of like of like mind that are that are evolving waking up that are um you know want to grow want personal growth want to create a better world um etc and you can join my uh, Patreon community. I really, um, I can see like I, I had a group that had been working for for a long time and they're, they're um, doing well. And so I'm really calling in um, a lot of uh, newbies to, to come in and let's start as a group and start going through. And there's a ton of information already on there of videos of learning. But if we, uh, I, I'd really love a new group to be starting in October to, to come in and we can, we're, we're, um, and, 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 and that those others are going to stay too, who are more, we, we help each other in all different levels. So you get a lot of individual coaching and questions answered and energy. We do energy work to help, help release and to up level, up level, uh, um, your frequency to help, um, break down the, the programming. So that's something, and then also get coaching or 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 therapy or what you know whatever um, uh, you you think would be supportive of you. And so I'm a coach, but there's other coaches out there, and to to help you with these processes that I just explained. But also you can do them yourself. But I'm I'm gonna let you know I've had coaches since I started coaching and. 2002, um, I've had coaches and mentors the whole time. I would not be where I am now without uh, those people 
in my life because they, they, because a lot of your programming is so unconscious. And so that's been my thing is like, so I understand, I've made my uh, work a lot about what is unconscious, what is unconscious and how do we shift that? Because, because you don't know what it is because it's unconscious. And so that's why my expertise, all my years of doing this um, have availed to me um, and through the chakra work and inner child work and all of that has, has revealed and, 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 you know, thousands of hours of, of coaching and thousands of people have been coaching have, you know, I, I can see patterns. I can, I can feel I'm intuitive and us working together is a lot more powerful than you working on your own. And it takes a long time. And I feel like it's a lot more painful too because you're you keep having to go through experiences that life is giving you so you can wake up to what's there but you just keep getting to the surface part you you're not understanding what's what's the root what's the root down here that keeps drawing these experiences to you. So, feel free to give me a call and um set up a discovery session if you want and make an appointment for a one-on-one a, a -on -one session, or you can, uh, we can, I do sessions, you know, for an hour and a half, uh, you know, whenever you need it, or you can come in and depending on what you need, um, you know, join for, I, I think three months is a very important uh, time frame for, to come in and work on things once a week for three months makes a big shift and uh, as long as you're doing the work um and i won't work with you if you're not doing the work so i'm not going to waste your time i'm not going to waste my time but i know how powerful you are i know how how magnificent of a being you are and and what you are capable of creating and I just, I'm excited to support you through that, whether it's in my group, so you can do the group. It's $22 a month. We meet at least four times in a month, once a week. And I might add more, you know, depending on the group and the dynamics. And um, you, you get, and don't be, don't be shy about this because if you can't afford the one-on-one, -on -one, the group is really good because you learn from other people and you learn that you're not alone and that other people are experiencing the same thing. You start to meet people from all over the world who are, um, ex you know, waking up and evolving and going, feeling everything and feeling, um, you know, all the emotions and, you know, struggling with feeling challenged by the awakening process and not understanding, you know, what, what is going on and not feeling supported. And a lot like you, you, you will be amazed to see that people are, feel, uh, you're not the only one that's feeling and thinking the thoughts you are because it's programming. <laughs> it's been programmed. So if you start to see that there, there's um, these programs and depending on, you know, your circumstances is how you got yours and and that you're living your past and you're not living being here in the present. And that's what I'm helping here to help you know how lovable you are, that you are pure unconditional love, that you are a fractal of God here to experience what you want to experience. And you're here on your big mission, which is right now to do this work to transform, to start to understand what it means to be human, what it means to be a human, have a soul, have a cosmic conscious soul in this human body and to live that out. And that is your big mission and, um, and to help others learn that. So I'm helping those who are helping other people do this. And so anyway, excuse me, I have to, <coughs> I have a little tickle. Anyway, I love you and know that you are just so beautiful, such a beautiful, 
light and love in that you know that you can feel that just feel receive that receive that see if it if it opens up a little bit until we meet again love live and matter take care